In the 1920s, Congress authorized the development of Route 66, the mother road that would take travelers from Chicago all the way to the Pacific Ocean. In towns like Holbrook, Arizona, restaurants and businesses sprung up to take care of the increased traffic. And although the road is now decades old, it's perhaps more alive than ever. Holbrook, Arizona is an old cowboy town in eastern Arizona. But times changed in the 1930s when Route 66 passed through town. We had a lot of dirt roads then, so there was a lot of roads that weren't paved yet. So it was a lot of dust. We were a dusty town. Um, a lot of our business here had to do with just travelers going through. They would stop by and, and eat here. Some of Holbrook's businesses date to the early days of Route 66. One of the most iconic is the Wigwam Motel. Its concrete wigwams have been attracting tourists since it opened in the 1950s. We've always had people who will just stop here and take pictures uh, right out, out in the middle of the, the road here and hold up traffic just to take pictures of, of our um, wigwams. Just down the street is a business that predates the wigwam, though. Joe and Aggie's Cafe was opened by Stephen Gallegos' grandparents in 1943. The original restaurant was quite cozy. Which they just had three booths along the wall, two tables in front of um, each one of the windows, and then a counter. But in the late 1970s, the economy of downtown Holbrook changed when Interstate 40 took traffic off of old Route 66. We were bypassed in 1979. So um, in 79, um, yes, uh, we really declined. Um, however, because my grandparents had such a reputation with the Native Americans off the reservation, they kept us going. But many businesses in the heart of town did close. The Wigwam and Joe and Aggies were two of the few that survived. Perhaps they would have eventually closed as well, if not for a movie released almost a decade ago. It's good to be home, everybody. <laughs> Mater, wait. What we're seeing a lot um, are the, the American families coming back to Route 66 as a result of the movie Cars. So all the kids are seeing um, Route 66 and uh, Radiator Springs and talking about it with the grandparents. The animated movie depicted the decline and revival of Route 66. Interestingly, Cars director John Lasseter spent a lot of time in Holbrook drawing inspiration for many elements of the film. He's sitting there talking with my mom for hours, for five days. You know, they, they ate three meals a day here. Um, that that I, I believe that, yeah, they just, they just felt comfortable. And, that, and so a lot of that was brought into the movie. Some characters were patterned after Stephen's parents. The cozy cones in the movie were reminiscent of the Wigwam Motel down the street. It was a movie that brought life back to the old road in town. Places like Joe and Aggie's and the Wigwam Motel continue to take care of the needs of visitors up and down Route 66. It's a unique blend of old and new that's attracting visitors from across the nation and around the world. Traveling the countryside in Holbrook, Arizona, I'm Andrew McCray.